and happy Sunday, you guys. This is Mary Fulton with Mary Fulton Fit, and today is Food Prep Sunday. So I'm coming to you with a quick little recipe that you can make um, some stuffed bell peppers. So let me just tag some friends, and let's do this. Any friends out there? Are you guys all enjoying the sunny day? It's so beautiful. Woo woo, we got one friend. Yeah. Let me make sure I can see you guys, because the other day I couldn't see. There it is, there it is. Dina, what's up, girl? Hi, guys, welcome. Let me just tag some friends. I'm gonna show you guys a quick little recipe, okay? Hello there, hi, Amanda. Amanda, come back. I had so much fun having you here. Can you come back and stay with us? <laughs> All right, join me. Okay, perfect. All right, I tagged it on my page so we can get started. And um, okay, first I just wanna tell you about my awesome marshmallow hat, check it out. Marshmallow, do you guys know DJ Marshmallow? So I got some cool hats. The other day, I'm really excited. <laughs> Anyways, back on topic. So today we are doing stuffed bell peppers, and I am using quinoa and ground turkey um, bell peppers, and then I'm also going to be showing you guys just with portion, okay, about the measurements that you need to do, and it's super easy. Um, I'll tell you how, how I made this today. So let me zoom you in a little closer to me. All right. All right, is that okay? Can you guys see me? Is that too close? I'm sorry, I'm getting really personal with you. All right, can we see now? Okay, perfect. We'll go back just a little bit. All right, so I use my rice cooker for my quinoa, and I use my pressure cooker for my ground turkey. And all I did for the ground turkey, real quick, I'll show you, voila. And if you don't like ground turkey, you can pick something else. If you like ground beef or you wanna do chicken, you can do the same recipe. All I did was for 20 minutes, put ground turkey in here with, um, taco seasoning and salsa. That's it, look, and it's super good. Um, I was even, scoop, I was cheating, I was scooping some out with a couple chips, it was really good. <laughs> um, so we got the turkey meat, and then I also made some quinoa. Here it is, super easy, and my rice cooker. So I either do brown rice in there or I do quinoa every week, and I make a whole bunch for different things. You know what I did today, though, is I went ahead and threw in some cilantro and garlic. And let me bring it out really quick, two seconds. So I like these little package deals. These guys here, you can get them. Like they come in little, you can get them at Trader Joe's or just the supermarket. It's frozen garlic. And I just popped two of those in there. And then I also got some frozen cilantro. And you can just pop those inside there too and mix it up. And it's super easy. I mean, that's how quick it is. I just put it in there and give it a little bit more flavor and salt. And then I went ahead and just bought a bag of, you know, bell peppers, wherever you want to get them. Uh, Costco, Smart and Final, wherever you shop, Pavilions, Ralph's, wherever. And I cut these in half, okay? Um, real quick, cut them in half, rinsed them out. If you want them to be bigger, then I would just um, open up the top and not cut them in half. But my kids won't need a whole one. So this is easier for me. Hi, Gail. Hi, Lisa. Thanks, guys, so much for joining in. Hi, Mina. Um, and really easy. So this is all I'm going to do. I'm going to show you guys. So um, I've been doing like the 21-day fix for five years. I started with it when I was Beachbody. And um, these containers, I'm still using them after my son for the last five years. So this one is um, a quarter cup. No, sorry. This one is half a cup. Then this is three-quarter cups. And then this one is a quarter cup. This is for the cheese, everybody. <laughs> Look at the little cheese cup. It actually looks bigger on camera than it does in person, <laughs> but it goes a long way. So this really helps me to control my portions um, so I know about how much I'm having and I don't overdo it because it's easy to just keep scooping stuff, okay? So for bell pepper, you want to go, you can do one whole scoop of the quinoa, put it in there. If you feel like, you know what, today, because my little bell peppers are kind of small. I don't think it's going to fit the whole portion. So I'm just going to do a half, okay? So I'm doing a half in all of these. So I'll just split it between the bell peppers, okay? So we can fit the ground turkey in there. And if you don't want to have any quinoa in there, then of course, you don't have to put it in there. You can just do the meat, right? Or whatever protein you want to put in there. Maybe you want to do all veggies and beans. Maybe you're a vegetarian. You could do some yummy beans in there. I'm not doing any beans today. All right, so I put it all in there and I just did a half of one because these bell peppers are too small. So cut it in half, half of a half. <laughs> so about a quarter. All right, and now we're gonna go ahead and do the turkey meat. And remember how I showed you, I, there's some salsa in it, so that makes it nice and 
wet and moist and it's gonna cook better with that bell pepper. So I'm just putting that on top and I'll show you guys in just a second, I'll be fast. And remember, I am not a, per I am not a professional chef. <laughs> I like to say that sometimes because I'm a mom of three boys and I've been cooking since, I don't know, I learned to cook with my mom and you know what? I'm gonna have to do some Argentinian dishes with you guys. You guys want something from Argentina next time? I should totally do that, right? You want me to teach you some yummy recipes that I make with my mom? Ooh, empanadas. Quien quiere empanadas? <laughs> we should try to find a way to do some healthy empanadas. I mean, when my mom makes them, we just go for the, like the ground meat because we don't eat them very often. But we could make some like vegetarian ones and try some different types of empanadas. What do you guys think? Okay, I'll try to do that. I'll come up with something. Maybe we can do a veggie style one or like a shredded chicken. Okay, so here's all my bell peppers. This seriously took me, it took me 20 minutes. I was packaging all my shirts for, um, to send to all my, my clients and um, with my boys while everything was cooking. So that's the great thing about multitasking with a crock pot and a rice cooker. If you don't have a crock pot, or I use a pressure cooker, but you could do it with a crock pot too, right? It just takes a little bit longer. So remember the measuring of the cheese. Let's see how this happens, okay? Now, Autumn Calabrese says, you can stuff it. <laughs> as much cheese as you can fit in there. <laughs> see how it's a look. We can still get a little more cheese in there. I know some of you are out there, you're like, put more cheese in there, Mary Fulton. <laughs> I love cheese too. <laughs> it's one of my favorite things. Okay, so we got all the cheese in there. What do you guys think? Is it overflowing? What do you think, Debbie? Yes? Healthy empanadas, you wanna do that? What do you guys think, we're good? Okay, so that'll be the first one. I'm gonna show you. Well, now the cheese doesn't wanna come out. Oh, but look, I'm gonna show you how much cheese got on that bell pepper. You see it? That's pretty good. And I would say if you were to grab cheese, it would probably look something like this, right? Like a little handful. That's about as much as you wanna put on there. So you can measure it like that. Don't do, you know, a fistful of cheese, people. Well, there are days where you need a fistful of cheese. <laughs> some days, right? You're like, I just need some nachos today. <laughs> I haven't had one of those days in a while. I'm telling you that Shakeology I've been drinking has really helped me. I've been drinking it for 54 days. Have you seen me on my stories with Sam Joe? Sam Joe, I'm still gonna win, okay? I just have to say that. We're in a competition um, for 90 days. <laughs> All right, here's the cheese. So, but I will tell you that drinking that Shakeo has helped me to not crave um, like sugars and junk and stuff. And I'm not lying to you. It's been 54 days. I have not missed a day of drinking it. It really makes a difference. It really does. So. Find that right protein shake that has vitamins for you, whether it's Shakeology or something else that really um, you know, satisfies you. And I promise it will help. Because if you feed your body the right things, like the right veggies and the right um, foods, you won't crave as much junk food. And then the, then the trigger too, as I'm putting the cheese on all this, is that the less sugar you have, then you don't crave it as much, right? So like for me, um, you know how Costco has those chocolate chip cookies that are fresh? I can't buy those because if I eat one of those cookies, like I can't stop. Like I'll eat like four more cookies. I know, right? I do. I would. So I don't buy them because they're my, they're a trick. I think there's drugs in them. <laughs> okay, here is the cheese. And look, it's all beautiful and it's ready to go. And um, I'm telling the truth. I think there's drugs in those cookies. <laughs> um, so uh, this is it. This is simple. Okay, this is super heavy um, because I've got all this yummy protein in here. You've got your vitamin C from the bell peppers. You've got um, the quinoa, super good for you. So we got a balanced meal here. We got a veggie. A fruit, uh, a fruit, we got a vegetable, the bell pepper. We've got our um, carb, our uh, quinoa, and then we've got our protein with the ground turkey. And you know what I would do with this? So we'll put it in the oven, but I'm not gonna make you wait for me. I'll put it in the oven after. So bake it for like uh, 25 minutes, okay? Because we want the bell pepper to get nice and soft. So that's it. But if you're busy at home doing stuff, just put your rice cooker and your turkey thing and go do your stuff, come back put it all together, put it in the oven, and now I've got dinner for tonight where I also just have some food preps for the week. I would put this with on a bed of greens. 
So like some spinach and little tomatoes and put it there and you can have like little dressing on the side and voila, you have an amazing dinner for your whole family and they think you're an awesome chef. What do you guys think? <laughs> Does that sound good? Yeah. Hubby, don't eat bell peppers. Oh, okay. Well then, you know what you could do? You could maybe um, try an avocado. If he likes avocados, you know you can bake avocados, you guys. So I, um, there's a recipe that I found and I'm going to do it next time. It's an avocado with a, um, a egg inside and then you bake it. So like a yummy breakfast. So we'll have to try that one. Any questions to tonight's amazing uh, work? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Remember, I am not a chef, just an ordinary lady <laughs> with three kids. By the way, somebody, um, I thought this was really funny on YouTube. They're like, hey, honey, and she's working out. And her husband's like, oh, you're working out with the garage lady. Oh, no, the washer and dryer lady again. <laughs> I thought that was funny. That's how I'm known now, the washer and dryer lady. So anyways, guys, thank you so much for stopping by. There's flies coming into my kitchen. And um, yes, that's it. Tomorrow morning, we'll be back to classes at 7 and 8. I'm going to try to do combat. Let's see how my leg feels. And uh, so combat and body pump. So come and do it. And uh, that's the recipe. I'll post it right here. I'll type out what you guys need. Um, it's very simple, quinoa, ground whatever you want, bell peppers, put it together, throw it in the oven. Remember the portions, three quarter cups, a quarter cup actually because it doesn't fit in there, and then a quarter cup of the cheese. So have an amazing night, guys. Um, happy Sunday. Thank you. See you soon. Bye. You're not ordinary. Oh, uh, I'm just crazy, Jill. <laughs> It's so good to see everybody. By the way, I so appreciate all your support, everybody out there. I know I'm hungry too. And you know what? If you have leftover um, meat, you can make a little taco salad with it, right? So nothing goes to waste. All right, guys. Thanks so much for tuning in to Mary Fulton Fit. And be ready because my next challenge will be coming. It's going to be a hover challenge, so stay tuned. We're going to make some cool tanks. I'm brainstorming. So I'll see you guys soon. Bye. Thank you. Combat baby. Oh yeah, let's do this. <laughs>